Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember red hearts if you made it through, purple hearts if it resonates, green hearts if you're working on it, yellow hearts if you rock with me. Got my six me to have my back because I have yours. There are soul ties, reunions, and a love offer that you're unsure about. So somebody is giving you a love offer you feel vulnerable and guarded in order to deal with this, but you're asking your ancestors if this is something that you should take. So you're in the, yeah, yeah, because again, there was facades and there was distance in this relationship or in the situationship that you had to basically change your belief systems and you feel like this person is operating in the dark, the dark side or the unknown or their shadow side and that this is not um, a true uh, reunion or an offer that you are willing to take and yeah the reunions are there there's soul ties if you guys go and look up uh, soul ties on TikTok, the girl who sings the song soul ties she's like i'm not going to let you do certain things anymore because of these soul ties so go look that up and see what that is but again being vulnerable and having to make decisions based upon where you are and how you feel you're putting the energy and asking the universe to kind of see if this is something that you should go after or you should be okay with accepting. So we're clarifying distance now. Um, yeah, we're clarifying the distance card now. And now the facade, the belief system. So you're not sure if this person has, is still living in the facade or has changed their belief system. That's why the tower energy is showing its face. So right now being guarded and vulnerable, King of Cups energy, you don't want to make the wrong decision being courageous and going after your empathetic heart or going after an empathetic uh, person or a person that um, has wanted to lead you down the wrong direction or, or you know, wasn't um, as forthcoming and, or as honest or believed in the same thing as you did. So you're questioning how to uh, have balance and uh, have some type of control or an emotional control because you are an empath, you're a lover. The King of Cups energy says... Um, only love, compassion, and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek. But you've, you've psyched yourself out when it comes to this situation before. And so you're asking the universe to guide you and to help you make the decisions as the emperor would. You know, the emperor energy is basically you actually, excuse me, respecting yourself. You know, having some respect for yourself and making the right decisions in order to be stable, to be firm, and not to be able to go off the track so off track and so the ace of wands being here in regards to being vulnerable and guarded is just letting you know that you have to have the willpower and be able to go after your desires and be inspired um or be able to create things when it comes to being empathetic and this person at some point was more of a karmic than a twin flame or to have a soul tie with because again that's the reason why you distanced yourself and ended it because they were all uh they were acting in their shadow side and it was like some type of dark night of the soul that they needed to have. And with the moon energy being here, you have to remember that energy of why you distance yourself because the consequences of their actions, justice energy, uh, the justice card is here. And when it comes to the justice card, you need to card, excuse me, you need to do the right thing and realize the facade and why you change your belief system. Because now with the nine of cups energy being here, you are, um, have some type of emotional stability and you know you're 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 getting to the point to where you've taken care of yourself and you've gotten back on track and you know that this energy will in the offer you're not sure if it's it's real and if they're ready to be a part of what it is that you want in the beginning if that makes sense and so therefore that's where the stagnation comes in at I'm going to pull from the what card is this oh the archetype deck to see the type of energy this person had um, and going from there like again you have to make the decision uh, yeah the shadow lover so it says exploring their inner dark darkness yeah because they're going through a dark night of the soul um, a workaholic so this person did uh, only care not only care but they cared about money but these two decisions is giving you the strength to be able to um, make make a choice um, when it comes to the shadow lover so again exploiting their inner darkness walking towards wellness and wholeness learning to integrate their shadow self so again the shadow side comes out and that's the reason why you um you ended it because again the facade of what they were doing they only really cared about 
being the emperor and having justice for themselves and not really for a situation. So again, that's why you don't believe this offer is real. The bottom of the deck groupie, yeah, seeks to achieve status by having sex. So that just shows you right now where they are. You know, the the past energies of the facade and them having maybe third party situations will do anything to get near their partner often obsessed shallow and lustful so that's the dark night of the soul energy and why you ended it because they could be making an offer because of the fact that you have removed your energy from them and therefore because you know what their priorities are it was all about money right it was all about money and what they could do so that's why pretty much the emperor and the justice card probably shows his face but on your note, when it comes to emperor and justice, you're looking at it in a different, you're looking at it in a different light. You're respecting yourself. And when it comes to the justice, you're doing the right thing for yourself. And when it comes to the nine of wands, excuse me, the nine of cups energy, you're basically um, at a point to where you are, um, how do you call it? Understanding your empathetic nature, right? But you're also having emotional stability. That's the biggest thing for you. You're not living um uh and living based on potential anymore you're you're understanding who this person is and that's why you had to end it so i'm gonna go ahead and pull um i wanted to pull from the ask yourself deck but i'm gonna pull from this deck the um i gotta keep looking the cozy witch uh deck to see what comes out but yeah you got a little cozy in a situation and therefore when it comes to unsure the magician you were doubting how you were able to manifest things, but you have your confidence back and you're starting to build uh, based upon, you know, having the courage to recognize your strengths and your weaknesses. And therefore, you know, you understand that this person, um, it says they prioritize their career over love, often cancels plans because of work, likely to find love at the workplace and the unsure energy of the magician. You have everything you need to do anything you you want and so therefore when you get into this situation with this person they make you feel less than even though these cards are yours if you turn it around and look at it for what it is you feel like um their your willpower is being pulled away or or siphoned if that makes sense like a succubus and so there when it comes to the seven of wands yeah you're protecting your energy you know seven of wands energy is letting you know that hey I got to uh, preserve and I have to uh, monitor and control my empathetic nature and my emotions. And I'm going to be very defensive in regards to this situation. So I don't believe your offer. And it says witches should hold other witches accountable. And so, again, you know, witches should hold other witches accountable, which reminds me of Harry Potter when it came to Hermione. Hermione was a muggle. But she also knew more than what the witches knew. And so she held them accountable and was like, it's not when God and Leviosa, it's Leviosa, you know, how she did that. And she corrected them. But was it snooty? No, it was because she practiced hard and she knew everything because she, she, um, you know, she was studying. She studied more and it was more of a, um, how do you call it? Yes, I'm talking about Harry Potter, but it was more of a um, a honor for her to be where she is. And some people take things for granted. And that's basically what it is. People take things for granted when they have access to the things that you don't. And so what all you wanted was to be loving and compassionate. And you do want this reunion. You do want the best love offer. But that was past tense. And you're not sure of it. Does that make sense? And so, therefore, you have to be defensive and you have to understand that other people have to be accountable for their own actions, the consequences of their actions, and being able to understand with the emperor energy, you have to respect yourself at the end of the day. Respect yourself and understand that with the nine of uh, cups energy, you have to be able to understand that, you know, it's about how you feel and your stability and that's where the emperor comes in at it's emotional stability the king of cups is here and the emperor is here because the king of cups is emotional and um the ace of uh, wands energy is having the courage to go after the things and being inspired right um i said ace of cups ace of wands did i say ace of wands it, it, it's being inspired and going after your desires but the the emperor energy is you being accountable for your actions you know emperor energy is just 
you know, understanding that I have to respect myself and I can't fall for the tricks that I did before, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how I see that. I'll pull from the situation deck and then um, I'll pull from the crystal deck and the um, four agreements. Um, and that link will be up there above uh, in order for you to understand my perspective in regards to that. So what is the situation in regards to this? Yeah, coming together. So negotiate. This person wants to negotiate and come, to ne come together. And basically at this point, they're begging. But remember, it says often cancels plans because of work. They'll prior prioritize their career over love, likely to find love at, at the workplace. But again, will do anything to get near their their partner because you move, you know, they feel like they lost, but they could love you. They adore, they admire, and, and are enchanted by you, and that's why they want a love offer. But at the end of the day, you have to look at it for what it is. What did they lose, and what are they gaining by having you there? And so those are the questions, the big questions that you have to ask yourself when it comes to dealing with this person, placing, or situation again, if that makes sense. And so you can come together all you want, but if you don't rectify the situation and speak your mind and be impeccable with your words um, and set boundaries, then it's going to just keep happening again. And that's the will of fortune, the ebb and flows of life. You know, things just keep going on. You keep rolling with the punches and going with the flow, but nothing ever is beneficial for you. So be impeccable with your words. Enjoy heaven on earth. It says impeccability of your word can lead you to personal freedom. And that's what you want is the freedom to make the decisions. And that is why the nine of cups energy shows its face is because you want to have the freedom and the um, to be able to have emotional stability when it comes to dealing with, you know, uh, page of wands type energy of going after the things that you want. Does that make sense? And so it says uh, success and abundance. Uh, it says, excuse me, impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success and abundance. You can attain the kingdom of, hev uh, of heaven from this one agreement, be impeccable with your words. So if you guys come together, you need to, um, again, I said in my last read, um, like Dakota, um, what is it, like Dakota, uh, not fanning, Dakota Johnson on Fifty Shades of Grey when they had the conversation about her boundaries or what it was, hard nose, hard left, hard, hard, hard nose, yeses, and things like that when they were going over the contract, her and Christian Grey, they were going over that contract, and she's like, this, hard no, this, okay, I'm willing to negotiate, this, hard no, and then she set her date night up, so if this is something that you're okay with, and you believe what it is, I'm not saying not to, you have to set those boundaries, and that's a part of why you ended it, and what they had to learn from, and you had to learn from and why you're guarded and vulnerable because the negotiation comes with lots of boundaries and you saying exactly what you want. My hair is so nappy. I just it just got stuck in my bracelet, but it's really, really, really hold on. I haven't combed it in a while. Hold on, this is oh you can't see it, but anyway, I haven't combed it in a while and I need to wash it. That's what I'm supposed to be doing is washing my hair and I I owe I I, I dedicate this channel to you guys and I know that I've been on the you know on the on the go right that's what we're gonna say but anyway so I'm gonna pull from the uh, crystal deck and then we're gonna let this energy go you know I think that you have to be able to understand and uh, the black onyx came out you have to be able to understand what it is that you want and understand that even though the cards show this way they can be interpreted another way but the offer is and the reunions that have to happen comes with boundaries. So the black onyx is the root chakra, encouragement, protection, and strength. And it says, I draw strength from my past experiences. Exactly. You're going to learn from the past you're, because the past causes fear and, uh, and the future causes anxiety. You're going to live in the present moment, learn from the past, and not worry about the future and just know that this present moment right now is where you need to be. And in this present moment, you're going to say your, what you want, speak your mind, be impeccable with your words, and you're going to also not take things personally about the past. So if you go backwards with this person, and if that's what you want to do, you have to set those boundaries and let go of the past and learn from the past. So again, I draw strength from my past, uh, my from my past experiences. So there you have it. Be impeccable with your words. Now let's let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack 
doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.